Ableton Live 10 for comping vocals or guitar or basically any external instrument recorded that, you know, takes multiple takes to get down. Um, I hear a lot of people online always say that Ableton is so terrible for vocal comping. Uh, I used to think the same thing until I found out about this, and that's why I wanted to share it with you guys. So this is a little track I was working on. I don't have any vocals or lyrics yet, but if I did, I would start it like this. This is just the beginning of a verse, so... <laughs> tend to, instead of recording the entire vocal track in one take, I do it in smaller, manageable pieces, just because, I don't know, that's the way I like it. Anyway, this uh, technique helped out my workflow so much. So, right now, this is just the beginning of a verse. I have a four-bar loop set up in arrangement, and I'm going to go ahead and press record and start doing my takes. I don't have any words for this song today. But that's okay, cause it's not finished anyway I don't have any words for this song today But that's okay, cause it's not finished anyway I don't have any words for this song today That's okay, cause it's not finished anyway I don't so sorry about that horrible vocal performance you just had to sit through. Anyway, so here it is. Let me go ahead and move that back so that it's... So these are the vocal takes right here. And you might say, oh, well, you know, that's awesome. But you just basically just overwrote everything that you did. And I used to think the same thing until I clicked here, come down to clip view scroll up boom all your takes are right here let me hit loop here i was amazed when i figured this out because it's just huge and it also allows you to do things like this so here's the three takes that i did and obviously you can do as many takes as you want and just loop them and have them all here so let's say i wanted to change this part right here Command E split. So this is now split from the rest of these. But what you can do is this. Now down here inside the loop brace in the clip view, this is the this right here is where it's split. Say I wanted to try that part from the second take. Boom, it remembers where you are right here. So it's just moving what's playing here. So that's awesome. You can just splice and mix and match pieces of the of the different vocal performances and put them together to make the best one. And this was like a revelation to me when I figured it out. So I really wanted to share it with you guys and maybe it'll help you out uh, when recording vocals or guitar or anything really. You can use this to get the best take. Um, so yeah, that's it. And uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.